Hey there, so today we have another review, and this is a beer courtesy of Kermit, who is a bartender at uh, Gun Hill. So really awesome, he ch uh, stopped by at Decadent. Uh, awesome guy, really awesome to meet you. Thank you so much for dropping off some cans. So first off, I will say, this is a terrible label. Just like really ugly and busy on here. Um, yeah, I don't really like it, but uh, it's actually hard to figure out what it is. It's a DDH, uh, triple IPA, 10%. Uh, it's called Hazy Hitter. It's made with Simcoe, Amarillo, Citrus, Centennial, Mosaic Hops. So there you go. So 10% triple IPA. Let's dig into it. What was this can? I'm actually curious. Uh, wow, that is impossible to read. About three weeks ago. Let's say something like that. Yep. So beer is actually, uh, yeah, not that hazy. Comes in a medium gold color, medium haze on there. Wonderful uh, white head. Yeah. Quite nice. I'm getting a little bit of like light grape character. What would that be from? Hmm, maybe mosaic. Underneath it has that kind of um, uh, earthy Simcoe thing going on. Oh, actually mosaic would be the one. It's a little bit stinky. It's a little bit like um, a little chivey. Yeah. But written by a good amount of fruit as well. Again, I'm getting like white grape. I'm getting white peach, light fruity character, maybe even a little bit like um, sweet red delicious apple, a uh, red delicious apple. Yeah, a little bit like that. But then there's this like f intense floral aromatic in here and also that kind of like dankness on the back end. Cheers. Whoa. Okay, that hits you again. What, what do you expect out of a 10% triple IPA? Uh, it's a big beer, but it's actually nice and clean. <laughs> Up front. Yeah, I guess it's clean. The problem is, I like that, you know, this beer poured with a decent amount of clarity and doesn't have any happen to it. And the problem is, is that this beer just is very light and it seems like it's decently attenuated, possibly. But it, it's one of those crushable New England style IPAs. But then at 10%, the beer just comes off like watery and then boozy, like punchy in the face. At 10%, you sort of want that beer that's like big, rich, creamy, thick, that sort of re like you know, matches that alcohol. Instead, you have something that is trying to, you know, drink below its ABV, but it still hits you with the alcohol. Does that make any sense? Where it's like, oh yeah, it's nice and drinkable, but it still punches you in the face, right? So I'm like, hmm, quite nice. I'm getting a nice little bit of grapefruit character in here, a little bit of that tropical. Um, it has a little bit of West Coast dank, uh, edge to it. And then boom, you're like warmed on the way down uh, with some uh, triple IPA hit you in the face kind of BS. Um, you know what, I, I had this nicely warmed up like I would like a lot of my New England IPAs. This one, I would just recommend like having a little bit colder because it's one of those beers that just like does a great job at 10%, but then it still hits you. Because I sort of just can feel like the alcohol resonating a little bit. And um, it's just one of those beers that it just like feels like it's, you just know sometimes your palate, you're like, oh man, this is gonna get me. So uh, I'd be careful with this one. Really well executed though. It has a little bit different of a New England edge to it. It has a little bit of just this kind of um, light uh, biscuity tone to it, but not uh, overly dominant. I, I like the malt on here. It plays an edge of like dankness and, and then a little bit of that hop character comes in and has a Deasley thing a little bit too, uh, which is quite nice. It, it plays in between sort of this East Coast, West Coast kind of thing. Um, a little bit of that kind of uh, chalky thing coming in as well. It's actually really good. It's actually a really good, clean, well-made triple IPA that bounces in between the fruitiness of uh, New England and then um, nice, nice showing malt quality and the dankness of West Coast. And um, as I was talking about it, it's now gotten a little bit more acclimated on my palate. And um, again, I would recommend this a little colder instead of like the warmer temperatures that you might prefer some of your New England IPAs that you really want to explode. But uh, really good, really, really good. I'm very impressed. This beer for me. Triple IPA is not used in my game, but this is really well done. This is 96. 96. This is DDH um, Hazy Hitter. Until next time, guys. Cheers. Later.